on one side, it is very difficult if you're in the business of manufacturing vehicles to have too many options, right? And a lot of the OEMs have struggled with the fact they just have too many different vehicles, too many different drivetrains, too many different engines. And so as they have made commitments to the, we're going to go in this direction, again, hard to get the dinosaurs on the aircraft carrier and turn it around. But the reality is that doesn't mean there aren't other off-ramps or other things that might happen. And so I'm a little bullish, at least in the interim, again, probably in that same 10-year period of time on what is known as an E-REV or the extended range electric vehicle, which is a variation of hybrid technology, but instead of being like a small battery with a small or medium sized engine, it's a big battery with a small engine. And so flipping the script and what we've known as hybrids for a long time, you look at some of the E-REVs that are coming out of China and the plans that some of the OEMs have for these vehicles, they have massive combined range, call it 1500, 2000 kilometer range on a single tank of gas. And that really is the best of both worlds for many parts of the country like Canada, the US and other places where getting places is just hard because things are far away. 